for beginners, pretty much, I don't know anything. Uh, it's day one. Um, if it was up to you, Stephanie, what do you think is the easiest, uh, maybe most user-friendly uh, language to learn when it comes to coding? What do you think? Is that Does that depend on what your ultimate goal is, or is there just one uh, end-all, be-all? What do you think? Well, um, I would say the languages that are covered in Intro to Coding, which are HTML and CSS, because HTML is literally the backbone of the web. Um, every website, no matter what the content is, whether it's, you know, primarily a visual medium or if it's, um, you know, more backend heavy, it will be built using HTML. So I, this is what I like to, you know, tell my students. I always say HTML, think of HTML, like if you're building a house, HTML is your foundation and HTML is like your frame. So um, before you can, before you can build walls and paint and install countertops and all of that, you need a, you need a foundation and a frame. Otherwise your house, you have nothing to decorate. So, um, I would say 100% HTML is where, and this is for web development, I will say, um, because if you're look, if you're interested in mobile, um, then that's kind of a, taking things in a different direction because you're not, because web is designed to, you know, web development is designed to work across like multiple browsers, mm -hmm. you know, like whether you use Firefox or Chrome or Edge or Safari, you know, you're those, the languages that you're using are, are intended to work on all of those browsers. Right. But if you are doing mobile development, you're developing for an operating system, mm -hmm. which is in, you know, entirely a different conversation because each, you know, Apple uses iOS and, um, Android uses any number of different languages, yeah. you know, so you're, you know, you have, it depends on what operating system you want to do. And like I said, that is like a whole other conversation. So I would say for a web, you know, if you want to learn how to build things for the web, then definitely HTML and CSS is just good to know because, you know, um, it will help you. It, it helps you even if you don't want to be a designer, it's just good to know it because, you know, um, it's just good to have in your tool belt. I know a lot of people try to kind of like look down on CSS, but it's more important than people want to admit.